This video is designed to provide SAMS Club Associates best practices for optimizing the effectiveness of the Dimer Brush Polishing System. Following these best practices will result in clean, polished, brighter floors for your club. The video will cover seven main topics. Daily preparation, tool installation, machine inspection, machine settings, daily polishing, blade replacement, and ordering. Daily preparation. For preparation prior to starting the Dimer Brush system, visually inspect the entire floor to be aware of items like rack bolts or other protrusions that might harm the brush blades during use. Additionally, sweep and remove any large debris that might be left on the floor that could potentially cause damage to the cleaning machine or the Dimer Brush tools. The floor must be auto-scrubbed each day to achieve clean, polished concrete floors. Tool installation. Make sure the scrubber head is raised to its up position. Line up the brush attachment or clutch plate with the drive motor to make sure the brushes are securely mounted on the brush drive hub. Machine inspection. Check to ensure the batteries are fully charged. Examine the squeegee. Make sure it is clean and pliable. Make sure the recovery and solution tanks on your machine are in good working order. Machine operation. It is important to note the Dimer Brush tools are only to be used on the sales floor and in receiving. Do not use the Dimer Brush tools in vestibules, sidewalks, epoxy floors in the bakery, or walk-in freezers. Operators should target driving the cleaning machine from one to one and a half miles per hour when restoring the concrete floor. Always make sure the machine is in motion when the brushes are spinning. Never run the brushes when the machine is standing still. The club should be operating the floor scrubber with the brush down pressure set at its maximum level. The water setting should be set at medium level. Keep the scrubber's vacuum running at all times to ensure that you are picking up the water left on the floor. Daily polishing. It is important to separate the polishing process into two phases. Phase one, restoration, and phase two, maintenance. Restoration phase. It is important that prior to starting the restoration process, that the club move any pallets, displays, or tables that can be moved. You also want to walk this section being restored prior to starting the restoration process to be sure all merchandise on the shelves is pushed in and not sticking out of the aisle. During the restoration phase, you will be restoring your floor from a dull, dirty floor to a clean, shiny finish. It is imperative that you follow the Dimer Brush polishing process for it to be effective. Your Dimer Brush representative has given you the number of grits you need to restore your floor. It will be anywhere from two to four steps, starting with the first grit you were given. Step one, you will clean a small section of the club's floor, approximately 400 to 750 square feet. Clean the floor with the machine on maximum down pressure and medium water level at a speed of one to one and a half miles per hour for 45 minutes. Be sure to drive the scrubber as close to the racking as possible. Once you have completed the 45 minute cleaning session, your floor should be smooth and even. Now proceed to step two, your next grit. Do repeated passes, still going one to one and a half miles per hour for 30 minutes. During the restoration phase, it is beneficial to map out the entire club and set up a daily schedule that tracks the aisles that have been restored. Always remember to routinely clean the aisles that have already been restored with the Last Grit Maintenance Tool. Step 3. Again, you'll be cleaning the section for 30 minutes. When focusing on longer, wider aisles, such as raceways, restore small sections at a time. These aisles are much larger than the individual side aisles and will take multiple days to complete. Lastly, put step four on the scrubber. Clean the floor for another 30 minutes until complete. Once you have completed all the steps, that section of the club will be restored to a high shine. 
Then, make your way around the club until the entire club has been restored. Always remember to routinely clean the aisles that have already been restored with the Last Grit Maintenance Tool. Be sure to move all of the items that were moved, like pallets or displays, back to their original position. Maintenance Phase During the maintenance phase, the club operator will use the final step brush, or the maintenance brush, to clean the club's floor for the entire cleaning period. It is important to clean the club floor daily with the Dimer Brush Maintenance Tool. Continuous cleaning with the Dimer Brush blades will improve the floor and keep it polished indefinitely. In the maintenance phase, it is appropriate to operate the floor scrubber at a speed of 2 to 3 miles per hour. Also use maximum down pressure and medium water. It is imperative to use the Dimer Brush blades daily or the floor will deteriorate. Be sure to use your club's autonomous scrubber with the Dimer Brush maintenance tools during each cleaning session. If aisles receive excessive traffic and begin to dull, simply make a few extra passes to restore their shine. Rinse the solution and recovery tank on the scrubber nightly and check the filter. Blade Replacement Tracking the blade life is a critical part of the polishing process. A blade is considered worn if there's no color or grit remaining on the blade. It is extremely important not to run the Dimer Brush blades past the color portion as you could potentially cause damage to your machine. Be sure you are checking the Dimer Brush tools at least once a week to assess their remaining blade life. If the blades look to have approximately one quarter inch or less of the colored portion remaining, it is time to reorder new blades. Using a number three Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the four screws on the black blade retainers remove and dispose of the worn out blades. Insert the new blade in each individual blade retainer quadrant with the flared edge pointing away outward through the slots in the retainer. Failure to properly install the blades will prematurely wear out the blade. Tighten the four screws for each retainer. Make sure all four retainers are fastened to the brush block. Then reinstall the brushes to the machine. Ordering. If blades are low in color or completely worn, go into your GNFR system to reorder replacement blades. If you have questions about the Dimer Brush system or about your club floor, please contact the Dimer Brush Technical Service Department at 855 DB Tools.